So let's go take a look at our build studio and I can show you how a grand piano is manufactured. This is our woodworking area over here. So here we have staged kind of the various steps of building a grand piano. So we only build grand pianos here. This is what's called a rim, and this is the mainframe of a grand piano. There's actually two rims in a grand piano. This is the outer rim, and then this is the inner rim. The rims are made uh, by a process we just call bending the rims. We have a rim press in the back that we just manufactured that I'll show you in a minute. The wood for this is uh, all high, it's all high-end um, Eastern Canadian rock-hard maple. What you're seeing here are strips of maple that are four millimeters thick, and they're 18 feet long. So if you can imagine one of these pieces of wood wrapping around and creating this, uh, the rim in the cabinet. What you're seeing here is two pianos. So once the rim is manufactured and the beams are in, uh, then the rest of the cabinet is, is put together and manufactured. This particular piano has a black high polish finish on it, which is a polyester product. It's a catalyzed uh, polyester. It's harder than an automotive finish. You can li literally pour acetone on this finish and it won't hurt it. So this is the mainframe. This is the, what gives the piano the structural integrity. And then we, um, we do all of our manufacturing here in this studio, with the exception of the iron frame, which we'll get to in a second, which has to be done in a foundry. The next step to the process is the, the design and the creation of what's called the soundboard. And this is the heart of the instrument. This is uh, probably the most important uh, piece of the piano in regards to the sound. So the, the design is critical, the materials are critical, obviously the execution is, is critical. This particular soundboard is made from a wood called Sitka spruce, and we source this from British Columbia. And one of the things you look for in a good soundboard is how tight is the grain? And typically, like in a, a really good guitar top, you'll have 10 to 12 grains per inch. On this particular panel, we have almost 30 grains to the inch in some areas. We source this from British Columbia, and the wood for this particular soundboard came from a tree that was about a thousand years old when it was harvested. <laughs> so the, the soundboard has, uh, it, it's crowned. So if you see these cross pieces of wood on the bottom, those are called ribs. And what those do is they impart um, this thing that we call a crown, which puts tension and compression into this panel, and that's what allows it to resonate and enhance the sound. So once the soundboard is, uh, is constructed, the way that the, the vibration of the strings get into the soundboard is via something called a bridge. So this is a base bridge, and you can see it's vertically laminated with African mahogany and what else, more maple. So the bridge then is glued to the soundboard, and then there are little things called bridge pins that go in these holes, and the string comes up and over the bridge, and it pushes down, and this is called down bearing, so that once the string is set into vibration, all of that energy goes down through the bridge into the soundboard, which moves the air, and then that's what we hear as the piano sound. Over here, we have what's called the plate, or the iron frame. This is cast iron, and this holds all of the tension of the strings when the piano is uh, all put together and tuned up to pitch. That tension is about 40,000 pounds or 20 tons of tensile pull, which is why it's cast iron. Uh, this particular piano is a sister to a piano that we uh, recently delivered to Aust that we recently delivered to Austria, uh, and. In Austria is a very famous company called Swarovski Crystal. So we decided to add a little Swarovski touch to this particular plate. What's cool is like with your camera as you move, they, they kind of they'll sparkle as you go past them. 
So to get all of the strings moving and to produce this energy, we need something called an action. So this is a side view of a piano action, a grand piano action. Uh, a typical piano, by the way, has almost 12,000 parts to it. A lot of the parts are here in this action, as you can see. It's a very complicated machine that is a series of levers. You know, you can see this has a fulcrum point here, and then it comes and it pushes this little guy up here, which is called a whippin', which pushes the jack, which pushes the knuckle, which pushes the hammer up to the string, and then eventually the hammer strikes the string, and that's what sets it into vibration. And then we have a felt uh, mechanism up here called a damper, and what that does is after you play the note and you release the key, the damper comes down and it stops the string from vibrating. So for, again, we're really passionate about this being as much of an all-American product as we possibly can. Over here we have a um, spray booth where we do a lot of our finish work. In here, this is called a dry room, so a lot of the woods we use, like the soundboard wood we were talking about, uh, it has to be dried to a very specific moisture content. And I mentioned that we use some uh, Sitka spruce out of British Columbia, but we also have some panels that, are, that we get from a source in Italy. Uh, this is a picture of a government official, uh, and he's in a forest called the Val di Fiume Forest. And this forest is in northern Italy. It's up in the Alps, government regulated. They only allow the wood to be harvested for the production of musical instruments. And its claim to fame is that it also happens to be the same forest that Stradivari got the wood for his famous violins. So this wood has a different, uh, kind of a unique sound character. So if you can imagine those 18 feet long pieces of maple, we glue them together. There's about 16 in a stack. We have six gorillas, very strong guys come in and they bring it across the back and then we start pulling it around and bending it into the shape. And then these are, th this is the form, so this is the actual shape of our newly designed Model 220. And then once the rims are dry, the glue's all dry, they come out of the press, and then they come over here to this other monster. And this is a CNC machine. My son Andrew and I work together to build the pianos. And everything that will benefit from us doing it hands-on, uh, that's what we do. And for the other parts, we use uh, the CNC machine. And, and, and this is how we create the Ravenscroft pianos.